the operators in Python. So how each operator in isolation works. But in this lecture, we'll discuss how a combination of operators works. So the basic uh, agenda of today's lecture is, so we'll discuss what op expressions are and what is the precedence of operators when we use multiple operators in an expression. So let's try to understand what an expression is. An expression is basically a combination of values, variables, operators and even it can include calls to functions also. That is an expression can include one or more of any of these combination. So consider this example. So 2 into 3 plus 7 divided by 12. So this is known as an expression. Basically, it contains a combination of operands, that is the values, and also a combination of operators like multiplication, addition, and division. So when this kind of expressions are executed, so they evaluate to a single value. So consider this example, so which is a combination of variables, then the operators and the operands, that is values. So consider another expression which includes a variable and also a function call. So in the last expression what happens is when fact of 2 which is the function call is called then whatever is returned by that function factorial will be returned and that value will be added to the variable a and then that result will be returned by this expression. So that is how expressions in Python are combinations of values, variables, operators and also function calls. Basically when they are executed they are evaluated to a simple value. So expressions need not to be very complex. They can also be simply a value or a variable. So consider this. So this can also be considered as an expression. So it's basically a constant or a value itself. So you can also execute these kind of statements at Python shell and you can get the value in the first case or in the second case when you are using a variable. So the value assigned to that variable will be returned as a so expressions need not to be very simple also, they can be complex which contains multiple operators and operands. So consider this example which contains a set of operators and also operations. In this case, so simply all the operators are addition operations, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 so and you can add these operands in any of the order. So either you can do 2 plus 3 first or you can even do 5 plus 6 first or you can do 4 plus 5 first and then later 4 plus 5 result can be added to 6 then that result can be added to 3. That is how in whatever order you want to add in these kind of expressions the result would be the same. So in this expression if you evaluate in whatever order you follow to evaluate the operations the final result would be 20 itself. So consider you can do 2 plus 3 first which results in 5 plus 4 9 plus 5 14 plus 6 20. So maybe you can start from the end also. So let's start with 5 plus 6 it results in 11 then plus 4 15 plus 3 18 then plus 2 20. Even you can start from the middle also. In whichever order you perform the operation, they result in the same value because all the operators are of the same nature. But consider this expression which involves different kinds of operators like 10 plus 2 into 4. The result of this expression is dependent on the order in which you evaluate the operations. So like first you do the addition operation 10 plus 2 is evaluated to 12 then if you multiply it results in 48 or otherwise if you apply the multiplication first then 4 into 2 is 8 then if you add that to 10 it results in 18 but which is the correct result either 48 or 18 which is the correct result we are not very sure of that right. So to rescue us the order in which you had to evaluate the operators in an expression so if there are multiple operators and if there are different operators then in whichever order you have to evaluate the operations then so you can follow the operator precedence to help that. So operator precedence actually determines the order in which operators has to be evaluated. So that is if your expression contains multiple operators and they are different then in which order either I need to do this operation first or this operation first or this operation first so that will be determined by the operator precedence and to help us here 
during the evaluation of operator precedence, you can remember this word PEMDAS. So actually this PEMDAS, P stands for the highest priority and S stands for the lowest priority. And let's see how this PEMDAS helps us to resolve the operator precedence. So actually here in PEMDAS, P stands for parenthesis operator, E stands for the exponent operator, then M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition and finally S stands for subtraction operation. And in your expression, if one or more of these operators are available, then you need to give highest priority to the parenthesis, then to the exponent, then to the multiplication, then to the division, then to the addition and finally the least priority should be given to the subtraction operation. So these are the most commonly used operators and this is the priority you can follow to resolve the operator precedence conflict. Now try to evaluate this expression 10 plus 2 into 4. So it involves two different operators plus and multiplication following this PEMDAS rule. So we understand that multiplication has to be given highest priority and that has to be evaluated first. That is we need to evaluate the multiplication 4 into 2, 8 first then the result should be added to 10. 10 plus 8 that is 18. So the result of this expression is 18, it is not 48. So following this PEMDAS rule, so you can understand in which order the operations in an expression has to be performed. But in Python, we have whole bunch of operators, right? So it is not simply the 4 or 5 operators, we have a long list of operators like this. In which order we need to evaluate these operators if you come across multiple operators in an expression. So to give that, we have given the operator precedence table where the highest priority operator is given on the top and the least priority operator is given in the bottom. So even in the bottom you have another operator or so here the parenthesis operator is given the highest priority then comes the exponent then comes the unary plus and the minus operators which indicate that you are just giving the sign of the operators then the bitwise not operator remember the operators that are placed in the same row they are they are having the equal priority so after the unary plus minus and the bitwise not operator so the next priority is given to multiplication, division, flow, division and the modulus operators. So then comes the binary addition and subtraction, then the binary shift operators, the left shift and the right shift. So then the bitwise and followed by the XR, then the OR operator and then whole bunch of comparison, identity and the membership operators are given the same priority. And then the logical not followed by the logical and and finally the least operator precedence is given to the logical or operator. So this is how in this order in Python operators are evaluated in an expression. So I repeat, so on the top of the table the highest operator is given and the bottom of the table the least operator in Python is given. So you can use this operator precedence table so while evaluating the expressions. So now let's see some of the examples. So here let's consider our value as 2 and consider this expression 3.14 into R. So that stands for the exponentiation operation. So it's 3.14 into R power 2. So here we have two different operators that is the multiplication and the exponentiation operators, right? But according to the operator precedence table, we understand that, we understand that so uh, exponentiation operation has to be given the highest priority and if you observe multiplication operator has to be given the lowest priority. So I am talking about the priority between these two operators, the exponentiation and the uh, multiplication operator. So highest priority should be given to the exponentiation and the least priority should be given to the multiplication operation. So that is how first the exponentiation operation has to be performed. So 2 part 2 that is 4 then that result has to be multiplied with 3.14 and whatever the result you get so that will be the result of your expression given. Now let us uh, consider A value as 10, B value as 20 and C value as 30 and uh, Consider this expression A is greater than B and complement C. So here what are the operators? We have three different operators. One is the greater than symbol then and and the complement, unary complement also. So these three are the operators. Then which operator I need to evaluate first? Again check the precedence table. So if you observe the precedence table, so the highest priority among these three operators, the highest priority is given to the 
complement operator. So then the next priority you can observe the greater than symbol. Then, then comes the AND operator. So that is how when you come across multiple operators in an expression, so you just go back and check your operator precedence table and you can evaluate the operator which is having the highest priority, then the next priority, then the next priority and finally you can end your evaluation with the least priority operator. So if you practice after a while, so you will be able to remember all these operators but initially you need to, you better need to take this uh, table as a reference. So now consider the evaluation of this expression. First the complement operation is evaluated. So complement C value is 30. Complement 30 it is a false value. Actually C30 means it indicates a true value but complement of the true is false. So that expression is evaluated to true. Then comes the next operator you need to evaluate is greater than A greater than B. 10 greater than 20 that is false. So false and false it evaluates to false. So finally this whole expression is evaluated to false. So now let us consider this expression 10 minus 4 into 2. So we understand that highest priority operator should be given the higher priority. Your multiplication operator is the highest priority operator. So first evaluate 4 into 2, 8. So 10 minus 8 then that is 2. So it results in 2. But if at all if I need to change the operator precedence, how do I do that? So instead of applying the multiplication operation, I want to do the uh, subtraction first and then later I want to apply the multiplication. Then is there any way to change the order of execution of the operators in an expression? Of course yes, we can change the order of execution of the operators by enclosing them in parenthesis. And whichever operators you want to execute first, you just enclose them like this in the parenthesis. Then what happens is if you check the priority table, operator precedence table, then the highest priority on top of the table itself we have the parenthesis operator. So that's how you can use the parenthesis operator to give the highest priority to the operators that are to be evaluated first. So 10 minus 4 is 6 and 6 into 2 is 12. So that is how you can change the precedence of the operators by enclosing them in parenthesis. So that is how you can evaluate this kind of expressions which contains the parenthesis operators. So now let us consider this expression. So it is 2 into 3 by 2. It is an integer division, right? So if you check the operator precedence table, so all these operators like the multiplication, division, remainder and the integer division, they have the equal priority because in your operator precedence table, you can see they appear on the same row, right? And in our expression, we have the uh, two operators, multiplication and the integer division, which is having the same priority. Now let us try to evaluate this expression. So 2 into 3, if I evaluate 2 into 3 first, then it results in a value 6. Then if I follow the integer division, 6 by 2, integer division it is 2, 2, right? So 6 by 3 is 2. Of course, it is an integer result only. Now if I do, instead of doing that way, so if I uh, do the 3 integer division 2, then it results in 1. Remember it is an integer division, so it results in a 1. Then if I multiply that with 2, then I get a 2, right? So 6 by 2 is 3 or if you apply the multiplication operation first, then you will get a 3 value. If you do the integer division first in this expression, then you get a 2 value. Then which is correct? Again, I am not very sure. Again, there is another conflict. Either I need to evaluate the multiplication operator first or the integer division operation first. So of course, earlier when there are multiple operators of different type and we are using the operator precedence table to resolve the conflict which operator has to be evaluated first. So operator precedence table, it tells us which operator has to be evaluated first and which operator has to be evaluated last. But in this case, there are certain operators, they fall under the same category. So if you observe all these operators, multiplication, division, remainder and the integer division, they fall under the same category. So if, if we have an expression with multiple operators of the same priority, then how do I resolve the conflict? Then to rescue us, we have associativity. So associativity of the operators which allows us to determine in which order that is either the left to right or the right to left. If you have multiple operators of the same priority in the same expression then 
So either you need to follow the left to right or the right to left associativity is actually determined by the associativity of the operators and in Python almost all the operators they follow the left to right associativity. So consider this example. So try to now resolve this because here we need to follow the left to right associativity. So first evaluate first try to evaluate 2 into 3 first that is 6 then apply the integer division and which results in a value 3. And now consider another expression so 1 greater than 2 and 1 greater than 3. So here again you need to follow the left to right associativity that's how first 1 greater than 2 which is a false and then 1 greater than 3 then again it's a false and false and false it results in a false value. So if you have the operators of the same precedence then you need to rely on the associativity of the operators to resolve the conflicts. So now consider this expression. So there is an exception to this rule following the left to right. So I didn't say that all the operators are following the left to right associativity. So there is certain operator that follows the right to left operator that is the exponentiation operator. So consider this example. So 2 power 1 power 2 that indicates it's an expo exponentiation. So uh, here we need to follow the right to left associativity. It's not left to right, it's right to left associativity. So that's how first we need to evaluate 1 power 2 which results in the value 1 and then you evaluate the uh, 2 power 1 exponent so which results in the value 2. So that's how this kind of uh, conflict can be resolved using the associativity of the operators. In this video we have seen what expressions in Python are and when an expression contains multiple operators then how to resolve the conflict using the operator precedence and the associativity of the operators. So with certain examples we have seen I hope you understand and whenever you come across whenever you come across multiple operators with the same priority now you will be able to resolve the conflict by using the operator precedence and also the operator associativity. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.